Cycling Tour de France Men, Stage 111-47-18. 0098km to go. Feed zone the peloton goes through the musette pickup point 1 foot 40 inches down on our 6 liters. It's interesting. Had today's stage been a one-day race it would have been ridden very differently because of the potentially challenging parkours. As it is, being the first of 21 stages in a grand tour, it's been a rather tame affair, but we still hope to have a fiery finish. Tour de France Thomas Ordao should be Ineos's team leaders, says Contador yesterday at 21.07112 km to go. Under two minutes the gap drops below the two-minute mark for the six leaders as they continue the long slog towards the fourth climb of the day, which precedes the intermediate sprint. Remember to follow the hashtag Tour Swimming Pools hashtag for water-related fun during this year's race. Stat Attack here's a good snippet of info from our friends at the Roadbook in the event that the world champion Julian Alaphilippe ends up swapping his rainbow bands for yellow later today. 0.128 kilometers to go. Crash. Julian Bernard hits the deck towards the back of the peloton after a touch of wheels in the feed zone. He had three gels in his back pocket, which fall out onto the road. It doesn't look serious but that's the kind of incident upon which Grand Tours can change. The kind of thing which ended, for instance, Garen Thomas's gyro bid last year 0.130 km to go. Van Poppel battles back dropped on that previous climb. The Dutchman, who is probably the fastest finisher of these escapees, manages to fight back on after a bit of a struggle, making the connection at the top of another sweeping uphill grind. Bakoc is now on the front of the pack giving de Klerk a well-earned break. Behind Ineos and UAE ride in full team formation, until Dylan Van Barley darts clear to pick up a musette in front of the peloton. Some snacks for his teammates. 0.136 km to go. Perez wins tussle for KOM points the break goes on to the short but sharp Cat.3 Cote de Locronin. 0.9 km at 9.3%. And after Van Poppel pops, it's Perez who rides clear of Schelling to take the two PTS going over the summit, which puts the Frenchman in pole position for the polka dot jersey today. The gap is still 2 feet 30 inches back to the peloton, which is still being driven by de Klerk and Bakoc. Actually, make that 2 feet 55 inches because it seems to have crept up all of a sudden 140 kilometers to go. Third climb coming up no change, really as Tim de Klerk continues to front the peloton as it approaches the third of six categorized climbs with a deficit of 2 feet 25 inches on that leading six-man group. The escapees are French duo Frank Bonamore, B&B Hotels P, BKTM, and Anthony Perez, Cofitis, the Spaniard Christian Rodriguez, Total Energies, Dutch duo Eid Schelling, Bora Hans Groe, and Danny Van Poppel, Intermarché Wanty Gobert, and Englishman Connor Swift, RKS Samsic.